night better suited perhaps to be in a ski lodge somewhere. But we're at Coors Field in Colorado. Ought to be a good one here between the long ball beasts and the mid-century groundbreakers. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next, Cy Young is on the mound for the groundbreakers in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Now with the plate is Craig Biggio. And we are set for baseball here this evening. And ball this ball runs ball. away for ball two, two and one. Corner and slicing foul. Here now the two two. Down to three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Pitch home. Oh, and this ball is right deep down the line in left. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And this is taken for a called third strike as the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. Not exactly. Next up is Barry Larkin. Larkin. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you. But you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And this is taken in for the second out. Batting third. And yeah, now here's a look at Tony La Russa's lineup for the visiting mm. long ball beasts. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable. Stay on the attack. Get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. Into the box now. Shepard Jones. Hey. One and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. On now to the bottom of inning number one, with no score after a half an inning. Pedro Martinez takes the mound for the Beasts today. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three but if you can master five like he has he'll be in pretty good shape now to the plate here is Jackie Robinson it lead things off here in the bottom half of the first A one one nope Ball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, that's a heck of a pitch right there. If, he, if he's able to execute with that type of velocity, fastballs up and in, 
I can't imagine. Not only is he going to break a ton of bats today, but he's going to open up that down and away with the soft stuff later in the game. Ready with another 2-2. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Two and two count. Here it comes. On the ground to the right side. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Now a chance to check out the starting nine for the mid-century groundbreakers as penned by Sparky Anderson. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Maddie, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles the leaving this yard. One, and one ball and two strikes to count. Ball, ball two. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 3 2. Fastball at the knees, maybe even below the knees, but it's strike three called, and there are two away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. So now to the plate, Ernie Banks. One and two now. One ball, two strikes, count. Two out, nobody on. And he'll lay off the curveball that's two in the strikes. dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Second inning upcoming here in Denver with no score. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Two two fouled away. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. To the plate now, Frank Thomas. And that misses two and two. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. He stays alive, still two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And another foul ball. Well, just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Hot shot on the ground is short. Banks has got it. Throw on to first, oh. two gone. That is good. 
the left number 29. Stepping in next, Joe Carter. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And yeah, that one misses badly. It's ball two. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Now, you could tell right there that curveball had some serious depth to it. That's what separates the good ones from the bad ones. That nasty spin rate, get that downward action. You even get a star player like this swinging at something in the dirt. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing-nothing. That'll bring up Hank Aaron. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 2-1 home. Hit sharply on the ground. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Standing in now, Lou Gehrig. Fastball called strike one and two. Using the slide step to try to control the running game. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game. Now, the problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Aaron on at first. Nobody out. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Try again, one, two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Two two one more time. Heading out towards shallow right. Here comes the right fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles good. right there. They no are in prime two. position to put the right. first run on the board right here. Diner. At the plate, Ralph Kiner. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Stepping in now, Johnny Bench. Popped him up. Larkin ranges back and he has it for out number two. Batting it. The third baseman, Eddie Matthews. So now here is Eddie Matthews looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. A 2 2 pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2.
late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the runner will score from second. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. Man, that swing looked like self-defense and a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. In now, Cy Young. One and two. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in a run. Here comes the one-two. And he chased it in the dirt. The throw to first he's is up. in time, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We played two full. The groundbreakers lead this one two to nothing. Rodriguez 7 8 9 bottom of the order set to go here in the third you know these next couple innings are really important for these guys I know they're only down by a couple but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early and he lays off their ball four so the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three number 24 Brady the batter will be Grady Sizemore First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And it's fouled away. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Started to go. So look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. So now the pitcher, Pedro Martinez. This is a textbook sacrifice situation, so let's see if that's the call. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now that second base, Craig Biggio. Craig Biggio digging in now. A one one. Count with two and one. Rodriguez at second with two down. To two and two now. to send him packing for the second time and a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball now on three and two as a pitcher you have gotta go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with swing and a miss blew the fastball right by him and the inning is over
bottom of the third now. And in steps a man whose number 42 has been forever retired, Jackie Robinson. Now the 2-1 pitch. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. Again, another foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Carter, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batting, center fielder, Mickey Mantle. So bases are empty with one out now. And that'll bring in Mickey Mantle. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Nope. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Next, it'll be Bernie Banks. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. One one. Runners on first with one down. Still one and two as he fouls it away. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Now a throw over oh, to first, and he'll get back in standing. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Fouls this one off. The 2 2 one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations right these days. What makes it so effective? I think Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball at the plate now Hank Aaron no offer on that one two balls and a strike here's a fastball that's wrapped out to left center and this is going to get down for a base hit Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock four. in the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side yeah, of the right scorecard right. might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. So now to the plate, Lou Gehrig hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. 
three innings complete. It's a lead for the mid-century era, two to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Barry Larkin. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the fourth inning opens with a leadoff single. Now that third baseman, Chipper. To the plate now, Chipper Jones. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Larkin aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Taken that time by Chipper as the count draws even at two and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three-two count. Runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Now the payoff pitch home. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. That's popped up. Matthews has a tough play, but he ranges back to put it away for the first out. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out, and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And, whoa, you see the big number. About 99 for a top speed. Not too many guys around the league can match that. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Vladimir Guerrero, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Fouled off. Nope. That That's misses, ball. and we're even at two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Runner at first here, one man out. Fouled away. The two, two, one more time. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he lays off here. A nice Perfect. job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far. But after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. So now to the plate, Frank Thomas. He bounced out last time up. First and second now, one man out. Popped him up. Bench is under it. 
He's got it, and there are two down now. Up next to the D, the left fielder, Joe Carter. Next to hit is Joe Carter. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Two men are on with two men out. And that's yeah, high and off the plate, one. two and one. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now the payoff pitch home. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. It's ball four. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Now it'll be Fudge Rodriguez. A base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Misses ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Skied into straightaway right. He's under it, and that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More ahead from Denver right after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Ralph Kiner. fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball the early five. in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -to -back once he had the yeah. hitter down in the count. Into the box, Johnny Bench. All Up two. high, two and one now. He's oh, falling behind right now, three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and that's low ball four and that hole at bat I feel like he really didn't now want to challenge him and I'm really surprised hey. by that because I think this is that's a guy weird. in the bottom third of the order you have to go right after now into the box Eddie Matthews he doubled his last time up and he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down no in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting no. pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Into the box now, Cy Young. 
One and two now as that one's fouled off. Bench. The runner at first with two gone. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Up Brady Sizemore. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3 0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Pedro Martinez. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Oh. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. This is foul right side. The 2 2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really Second starting pitch. to rack them up now, guys. Right. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. At the plate now, Craig Biggio. Hey. The ball in two strikes. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a loop with a left. And that'll get down for a base hit. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. So now to the plate. Very lucky. Fastball called strike. One and two. the belt kicks and deals swinging a blooper to the right side in there a base hit and that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now two quick outs from the now eight back. nine guys in the order but the top of the order it's a different story a knock and then another single back to back and now you've got traffic with the big guys coming up
in now. Shepard Jones. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. So Chipper dials long distance, a three-run dinger. As they have taken the lead, it's now three to two. I'm sure at the plate right there, he's thinking stay up the middle, hard line drives to either gap. He did it one better, giving his team the lead right there with a huge three-run bomb. To the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero. And it's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here, a three-run home run. Halfway home tonight from Denver. The Beasts lead this one 3-2. to two. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next will be the speed threat, Jackie Robinson. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another 1-2 delivery. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And Vlad will put this one away for route number one. Now batting, the center fielder. Now one down with the bases empty, and that'll bring in Mickey Mantle. Here comes the one two. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Thanks. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Stepping in now, Ernie Banks. There to take it is Chipper. Throw onto the big target of Frank Thomas will take care of him, and that will end the inning. Sixth about to get started, and in steps Big Frank. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh, that's it. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. So next to hit is Joe Carter. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 
one and one. Here it comes. And this is low ball two. Two and one. Hits are now even at four apiece. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Two and two. On the ground up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw to front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. At the plate, Buds Rodriguez. Bouncer up the middle. The throw to Robinson. To Gehrig. And the double play ends the inning. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here to the bottom of the sixth inning. The Beasts lead it three to two. Now at the plate, Hank Aaron. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pounding the zone with a high 90s fastball. It almost looks like he's gotten stronger as the game's gone on. Here comes the 1 2. Misses, ball nope. 2. Outside. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Gone right into the visitors' bullpen. So it's a solo shot to dead center as it's now a three-all ball game. Sure, you know it's coming after that bomb. That's right. Let's check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, we see it was projected at over 450 feet. An incredible home run to watch. Into the box, Lou Gehrig. Off-speed pitch in on the, the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. The 2-1. Soft liner to the right side. And this will be put away easily for the out. The bat. The left fielder. Ralph. Kiner. Digging in will be Ralph Kiner. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Hits are even right now at 5 aside. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Here now the 2 2. Hard on the ground towards short. Picked up by Larkin. And there are two away now. The catcher number five, Johnny Bench. And stepping in, Johnny Bench. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Well, no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Hard hit ball to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. 3 1 fastball, middle cut, and he didn't miss it. That's the fight throughout the course of the game to get yourself into count leverage and capitalize.
So now to the plate, Eddie Matthews. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. Here comes the one, two. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Bench leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. Well, that's off the plate. In the dirt here. Yeah, oh, heads up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the back. Guide in the air to straightaway left. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knots things up. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. We're tied now with three apiece. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Bob Feller will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Brooks Robinson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Seventh inning ready to roll, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Grady Sizemore. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now back the pitcher Pedro Martinez. Prince Fielder will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The two, two. One out, nobody on. Back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Down the left field line and deep. And it's a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Popped up. Banks is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter number seven, second baseman, Craig Vigio. 
So now into the box is Craig Biggio, singled in his last at bat. Towards second. And this is taken for the out. Ladies and gentlemen, we join with the traditional seventh inning stretch. Mike Hampton will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Stepping up is Brooks Robinson. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Lays two off ball. it to even two the strikes. count two and two. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Larkin ranging into the outfield. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. Now back to second baseman. Jackie Robinson. Next to hit, Jackie Robinson. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 3 1. And he lays Inside, off ball four. four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. The center fielder, number seven, Mickey. Digging in next, Mickey Mantle. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And he'll take a look at his strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Here comes the one-two. It's the ah. top of the zone. He struck him out looking. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have now the ability man. to strike guys Shortstop. out when they really Brody. need to. And that second Brody. out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. For the delivery, a check hey. on that go-ahead run at first. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. In now, Bernie Banks. 1-1 hey. one, one pitch is a sinker taken for his strike one and two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive in a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. Gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Thomas is there, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are all tied at three apiece. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping up is the shortstop, Barry Larkin. Line drive to left. And that's going to be a base hit. So a good start is the possible go ahead run is a board to start the eighth. Well, talk about having a pretty special that game. That's his third, third single of the game, D Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Into the box now. Chipper Two Jones. Balls, Pitch okay. out. Nothing doing. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Up 
Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. So a two-run shot to left center, and it's now five to three. What a great piece of clutch hitting right there to give his boys the lead going to put a lot of pressure on the opposition after score with only six outs to go. Stepping in now, Vladimir Guerrero. Bouncer to the left side. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. And now Frank Thomas. He went down on strikes last time up. Still only one out in the inning. Now a foul tip that's held on to with the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. And it won't get easier now. Juan Marichal gets loose in the bullpen. A one two misses for the second ball. I got to count two and two. And it's fouled away. Here's the pitch on two and two. count is that misses it's three and two now when you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes hit high and deep to right center mantles on the move he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out the left unit number 29 Joe Next up, Joe Carter, a hit in two tries so far. The 1-1 one, one home. He's looked at for ball number two. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Two two. Full count now three and two. Pudge Rodriguez would be next. on the ground over to first. He's got it. He will step on the bag himself and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. Beasts out in front here, five to three. Trevor Hoffman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Striding in is Hank Aaron. Blasted a solo homer last time up. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled off. And 
and this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first down. Still anyone's ball game. 5-3 is our score as we take a look now at the starter comparison to see how these two guys fared in the matchup. So here is Lou Gehrig. Bases are empty, one man out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the one two. Goes the other way as this is line to left. Carter is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Well, this number one was four. squared up pretty good, but Rell. just like pitchers give up hits Neither. on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. At the plate, Ralph Kiner That's hit the target, two. but this is low, two and one. Count two one. Kiner in front, three balls and a strike. A 3-1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Fouled away. taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Man, that's just now painful for a pitcher right there. A three, two offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Standing in now, Johnny Bench. Count is one and two now. Heiner is off of first with two away. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Here's another one, two. Nope, inside, ball two. Chance for Chipper at third. Reined in. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So no runs here, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Ninth inning coming up. The Beasts lead this one five to three. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that means Pudge Rodriguez will dig into bat at the plate. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around first, he's digging for second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That's what happens when a slider doesn't do what you want it to do. That was just one of those cement mixers, kind of just spinning but doing nothing. Nice job of punishing that pitch and picking up two bags on one swing. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Juan Marichal is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Willie Mays is also into the ball game and still hitting the number eight spot here. So now to the plate, Brady Sizemore, and it's fouled away. No one out with a runner at second. In the dirt, and now let's see. Throw goes to third, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. 
That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. The 2-2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. David Justice will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. One out and a runner on third. Close, but he didn't get it two and one. From the stretch. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Pulled toward right center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score on the sack fly as they double things up to lead it six to three. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball on the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike one number ball, two. Two strikes. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves some action. Mantle gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number nine. The Beasts lead it six to three. Ladies Mariano and Rivera, and the man called on to close this now one and earn a save in the night. Mariano Rivera. Riding in to start the ninth is Willie Mays, and they could use a spark from him here. And this will be fouled away. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has Number wheels, three. right? Number All five. he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength Number of his game, ten. which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. To the plate now, Brooks Robinson hits this one hard the other way. He's right there. On the first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now back, second baseman, Jackie Robinson. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jackie Robinson. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Outside. That's this cool. one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped him up. Jones has room in foul territory, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. 
Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Beasts came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Mike Hampton earns the victory on the mound. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious D. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the groundbreakers, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please... Drive home safely.